and killing and stopping. Uh, why? Because, because Israel is killing the Palestinians. They, they want to remove the Israelis, the Palestinians. They want to remove the Israelis. No, yeah, but why not we really. Can live together? Like, I can be with you together right now. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. It's not a problem. We can live together. I lived in Nablus, you know, for months. Okay. And I was known as a Jewish person. They called me Dr. Abraham. Very so respectful. Should, the count. Sorry. Should, should they be one government over there or a separate government? One government. Or a federation. I call for a federation. A federation of two nations. Okay, but not two nations, it's impossible. I might, I might buy something. They are two nations already. Yeah, one piece of cake, one, one person can eat the cake, not two people. One piece of bread, only one person can eat the bread. I don't understand. You have one piece of cake, how many people can eat one piece of cake? One person, right? No. There's two nations there. One chair, how many people can sit in one chair? One, one person, not two people. And the federation is possible, without a state. The state format is obsolete. It's reactionary. It's a European disease. That's what led to fascism. What problem with religion? If there's no religion, there's no problem. Do you, do you think uh, if the Israelis, like, they could, they controlled the whole area and controlled Palestine, do you, do you think they could make it a fair place? A yeah. fair and peaceful place? Yeah. Do you think they could make it peaceful for the Palestinians yeah. too? Could, could they give them good rights? The only thing that the Palestinians want is to kill people. Could, could they, I was they, there. They didn't try to kill me. No problem. So why do you want some guy stands in the bus stop and someone's killing him in the bed? Oh, so, some individuals go crazy because their family is killed or somebody in the family. So they want to take revenge, which is very bad. You know, people go to the synagogue and they don't come home anymore because somebody... It shouldn't be, but that's, you know, exceptions. Do, do you think that it's But they're already living together in Akka, in Yaffa, in... Uh, Jerusalem, they're living together, and uh, Palestinians are living. Our 20 percent, 23 percent of the population are Palestinians. How many people are missing right now? I don't see any people. I don't see any count. Other only people with me? Yeah, only me. Because the Jewish Marxists, they don't want to come and support me because I'm too Jewish for them. Okay. Are you Jewish? Yeah, second generation. So the, but the Jewish Marxists, they're they're anti-Jewish, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Your mother is Jewish? Yeah, mother? the... My mother, yeah, yeah. My mother was from Warsaw. You don't get your own religion, I don't know That's crazy. You, you go against your own religion? N no, I'm, I'm in favor of the religion. The religion says... You are Jewish people. You are Jewish people. Go Palestine. Huh? They, they, they. You get Israel. I don't know. You know what the Torah says? That the descendants of Abraham should live in the land of Canaan forever. In Canaan, not Israel, in Canaan. Israel means the Jewish people. Am Yisrael Chai means long live the Jewish people. And in the Torah it says, the covenant with Abraham is for the descendants of Abraham, including Ishmael and Isaac, to live together in the land of Canaan, not Palestine, not Israel. It's Palestine. It was Palestine before it was Israel. What's Palestine before? I, I'll show you. I'll give you the proof. Look, see, it says Palestine and Hebrew also. You see, both Hebrew and Arabic together and English. What is that? This is the money from before Israel. Twenty-seven. Yeah. That's the Philistine, right? Like How Palestine was after the, the Greek people. Because the, the Palestinians are uh, <laughs> they're dangerous. Yeah. yeah, they want to kill a lot of Israel. That's dangerous. That's a dangerous uh, yeah. desire. No, they from live the together with to the Israelis. Sea, from the river to the sea, what, what does what it mean? Is there, no I don't know. Who knows what that means? It means everything. Yeah. The whole place. But, no. but the question is, do you think the Israelis, they could govern the Palestinians peacefully? No. They, should, they, should they could give them wipe rights. Out Hamas. They should wipe up out Hamas. C could they give good rights to the Palestinians or not? They should kill Sindhuang, that's it. Because you know how Israelis have What about rights? the Palestinians? Never mind Hamas. You want to live with the Palestinians, yeah, yeah. yes or no? Yeah, yes. Could, could you give Hamas. them rights, rights, to the yeah, people, yeah. rights? But they've good, been... Good living, good living. They could have treated them oh. since yeah. 19... Are factories over there in Gaza? It's very, it's very, like, poor, you know? Yeah, poor. Are there any factories over there? 
Look, Israel was governing the Palestinians since the Oslo Agreement, since 1967, and they have not done, they have not made peace. So it is Israel's fault because they had the power. Okay. They could have made peace, but they didn't because they wanted to take more and more land all the time. So came to the, to the, to the government. Because the Israelis, they, they, they came, right? They came. And so, took the and, land. And they, took, and they took the land. And they started to cross the river. So they, they, had to, they, they took away the, the house, so they had to supply good life to them. Okay. You know? But they didn't. So, so, so they have a responsibility. Yeah. You know, towards the poor people. Don't kill other people. They just they have to be lived together. That's it. They don't fire your homes. Yeah. How, how are they going to live? How are, how are they going to live? They know they make jobs, make jobs, make everything. Okay, I call that a federation of two nations can live together in the same land. It's but possible. Do you think the Israelis have to help or no? Two families can live in one house. No. Yes. But should they help? Really I'm family, no. and your family. You can live in the same Yeah. But do you think really They do already in Akka and in Jerusalem and in Haifa. They live together already, right? 50-50. Yeah. You know. Right, the, killing and no, no, they don't say. You know, they, they live there peacefully even now. They're peaceful and they live together there. Okay. So they all can live together peacefully if they want to, know, but, but the Israelis don't want to. They want war. That's the problem. We have to we have to change that. We have to educate them. To tell them that they help though or no. You think they should help? Palestine or no? No? Because we what I think there should be this one So they could say the same thing about the Israelis. You're giving a reason for the Palestinians to kill all the Israelis. Years ago, you know? okay. so that you also. Can't, you can't kill people like that now. You have to make peace. You have but you can't. Yeah, you have to make peace. You can't kill people like that now. So, so now you have to take care of them. You have to, you have to build bombs. Yeah, but their missiles don't have bombs on them, but and Israel's you missiles do. Now you have to supply security to the people. So when Israel went to the hospitals, they found guns and everything in the hospital instead of like. Yeah, but the, okay, everything you say is true, but it's worse with the Israelis. You know how many Israelis want to kill all the Palestinians? This is insane. They're angry, you know, the Palestinians are angry. Yeah, but the thing is, the, the problem is that the, the kid, the kid, his family was killed, so he's angry, the kid, yeah. because his family was killed. 80% yeah. of Hamas fighters are orphans, yeah. you, and they're the grandchildren. When you go to Gaza, you they kill your family, you're going to be mad. I'm not going to kill other people for some of the family. Yeah, you will, but you're going to be angry. Both have to have security. Same with the Israelis, they're both brainwashed, okay. So we have to change it. We have to change the minds, yeah. That's what I'm doing here. I did, I went to live in Nablus. I will go back. I was Jewish, they knew I was Jewish and they accepted me. And they called me Dr. Abraham, with respect. The so? People belong to Isaac and then the Muslims belong to Ismail. Yeah. Moses? Not they Moses. Isaac and Ismail. Yeah, but Ishmael yeah, Ishmael, yeah, yeah. and Isaac both Muslims are descendants of Abraham. The Muslims belong to Ismail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you for talking. Okay. Not in our name. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, Good car. Uh, the Mander, he, he he's confused. Very, yeah, yeah, he wasn't very open-minded, you know. Yeah. He, he was very close-minded, actually. Yeah, but there's and worse. The, yeah, but the sad, the sad part is like that's the thinking there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I know. It, 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 it has zero like deep thought, you know. It's just like basic, a little bit animalistic, like oh, I'm a leg, I'm a killer of them, you know. Yeah. And that's not how you solve problems now. No.
in, in, in this era. Exactly. You, know? you can't you. solve problems like that. Thank you for saying. You talk. gotta have like a diplomatic.